We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you, and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. As we gather, we place ourselves in God's presence, ever mindful of his love and mercy for each and every one of us. And for the times that we have not always been as faithful as we should, we pause and ask for mercy. We cry out, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors of the sea when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling bands, when I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door? and said, Thus far shall you come, but no farther. And here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, 
so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased and there was great calm. Then he asked them, why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the things that I do other than preach in different places is that I lead pilgrimages to different parts of the world and especially to the Holy Land. In fact, I'm leading another one this November and December. Being there is always one of the most beautiful experiences that one can have. I have to admit that after that first trip, the words of the scripture have never been the same because now I can see the actual places in my mind. As I reflected on the gospel of today, I found myself once again back in Israel, sitting on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. I was imagining Jesus walking along the shore just as I was. Later, he went out on a boat, and all I could think of was that it must, what it must have been like with Jesus asleep and a storm coming up, or to have him walking on the water. It must have been a moving experience, I have to admit that I expected the sea to be quite huge, but 
it's nothing like I imagined. Coming from Chicago and living on the shores of the great Lake Michigan spoiled me in many ways. When I see a lake, I think of something as grand as Lake Michigan. And for the storm to come up the way that it did must have been very quickly. There are storms that come in and out of our lives as well. And there are a lot of times when we may cry out to the Lord with the same words, doesn't it matter to you that we are going to drown? Many have probably thought the same thing throughout this pandemic. We wonder if it has made any difference at all. We are now beginning to see things differently as things begin to open slowly. But we also know that it's not over with. We still have to be careful. And you know what? Yes, Jesus cares. Jesus does care or we would never have made it this far. There are also times when we try and try and try and steer the boat on our own. Take the time in your own life to repeat the words that Jesus said. Quiet, be still, know that he is God, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our God is just. Our God is loving. Our God really does care. Let us now, as a community of faith, lift up our prayers and concerns before that loving God. For the church, that we may place our trust in God when we are buffeted by storms that leave us feeling powerless and defeated. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who work on boats and ships, that they may be kept safe while on the water. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the fathers, grandfathers, godfathers, and other dads remembered with love in spiritual bouquets sent to heaven to the heart of the nation in celebration of Father's Day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, especially among our heart of the nation family, may they know comfort in their fear. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they inherit the promise of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and the prayers of all of our heart of the nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of North Carolina and Mississippi, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of all goodness, God of all strength, we ask you once again to touch us with your strength. Hear these prayers and grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Know that I 
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that these our gifts may be acceptable to our loving God. May the, may the Lord accept sacrifices at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, all of our bishops and all who serve and minister in your name. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Francis, St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and worry, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of peace. And to all of those in our audience, a very special peace to you. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us be at peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you.